welcome back everyone in the last video i have discussed how to create the state event and block in this video i will discuss how to update the ui whenever the state changes to update the ui whenever the state changes we need to use a widget which is called as block builder it is provided by flutter block library it rebuilds the ui whenever the state changes let me show you how to use the block builder widget let me move to main dot dot here you can see this material app in home we are using my home page widget this my home page widget is extending the stateful widget and this state is used here and here the counter variable is declared this function increment counter is incrementing the value of counter now i will remove this because i will use block here so there is no need of set state i will remove this and instead of increment counter here i will use this so whenever the state changes at that time this text widget is rebuilt and so what i will do i will wrap this text widget with block builder so wrap with builder and i will change this to block builder now i will import this block builder from flutter block library now here in this block builder i need to specify the name of the block that is counter block and the state that is counter state and this builder function now will take context as well as state so whenever the state will change this block builder will rerun the builder function and hence the ui will be updated now this block builder takes a parameter which is called as block in this block we need to pass the instance of the block which we have created this means we need to pass the instance of counter block and to create the instance here i will write final counter block equals to counter block so the instance of counter block is created and i will pass this instance to this and now instead of this dollar counter here i can write state dot count dot to string now the count value should increment whenever this floating action button will be clicked as you can see in the output whenever this plus button is clicked at that time this count value should increment we have already written the logic to increment the value now how to use that let me show you here i will use the counter block instance and after that here i will use the add method now from where we are getting the add method because we have not created any add method in the counter block this add method is actually coming from this block so here add and after that we need to pass here the event so here the event is counter increment event so what is happening here whenever this floating action button will be clicked at that time we are generating the counter increment event which is going to this block and as i written here whenever this counter increment event will be generated at that time the state will be updated as state dot count plus 1 this means the current value of count will be incremented by 1 now let me rerun this let me show you the output if i click here then you can see that the count value is incrementing now let me move to main dot dot now here this block builder is taking this block now if i hover here then you can see this is optional now in what case this is optional i will come to this later on before that let me discuss here that it takes one more par parameter which is called as build when this build when actually takes two parameters one is previous and another one is current this means the previous state and the current state and this build when function sorry this build when function by default always returns true and remember one thing that whenever the state changes this builder function re executes to update the ui okay now if this build when returns true then only this builder function will execute if this build when returns false then this builder function will not execute and the ui will not get updated 
let me print here the value of previous state and current state and to do that here i will write print previous dot count and here i can do one more thing let me write previous dollar of this this and let me print the value of current state as well current and here i will write current dot count and this must return a value also so here i am returning true since it is returning true this means the builder function will re execute whenever the state will change let me save this and now if i click here then you can see previous value is 0 current value is 1 if i click it once again then previous value is 1 and current value is 2 now uh, uh, let me write a logic here return if i am writing current dot count greater than equals to 2 this means if the current value of count is greater than equals to 2 then only this function will return true and at that time only the builder function will re execute let me save this let me auto restart this and if i click here then you can see the value is not incrementing the ui is not value is incrementing but the ui is not getting updated because the build when function is returning false it will return true only if the count value is greater than equals to 2 if i click here once again at that time you can see the ui is updated because the current count value is 2 this is how build when works now let me discuss one more thing here that this block is actually optional if we remove this block from here then it will search for the block instance provided by a widget which is called as block provider and if it does not find the block instance it will generate error so if i remove this from here and if i try to run the project then you will see it is generating error because now it is not getting the block instance that's why it is generating error as i told you if you remove this block from here then it will search for the block instance which is provided by the block provider widget which i will discuss later on and if it does not find that it will generate error what uh, that is happening here okay and uh, let me undo this now one more thing if we use this block here it is scoped to a single widget what i am trying to say is that if i copy this and if i paste it here and if i remove this block from here and if i try to execute at that time also we will get error let me save this and you can see it is generating error why because in this case also it is not getting the counter block instance because this counter block instance is limited to this widget only for this widget we are not getting the counter block instance that's why it is generating error and here i will do one more thing here only we have the plus button now suppose i want another button minus and whenever this minus button will be clicked at that time i want to decrement the value to do that here in counter event i need to create one more class that is counter decrement event now move to counter block now there is a problem what should i write here counter increment event or counter decrement event to solve that problem in counter event we will create one more class sild class counter event and i will change this class to final and this class will now extend counter event similarly this class will also be final and it will also extend counter event 
now in counter block instead of this counter increment event here i will use counter event and in the body i will simply copy this i will paste it here and here instead of increment event i will write counter decrement event and instead of incrementing the value by plus 1 i will change it to minus 1 now let me move to main dot dot here i will wrap this with a row widget and in main axis alignment here i will use main axis alignment dot space evenly and let me copy this floating action button paste it i will change this to minimize and this tooltip will be decrement and now instead of calling this counter increment event here i will use counter decrement event so whenever this minus button will be clicked at that time counter decrement event will be generated which will go to the block now this portion will execute and it will decrement the value of count by minus 1 now let me hot restart this and now if i click on plus then you can see the value is incrementing and if i click on minus then you can see the value is decrementing this is how we can use block builder widget that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching